Who's that? A head, R tail. Okay. Evil cops plague our police force, but there are some golden moments when these guys make career-ending mistakes. These cases capture exactly that. Just like this first one, where two female cops decide to arrest a woman using a coin flip. On April 7, 2018, Roswell police officers Courtney Brown and Christy Wilson stopped Sarah Webb for speeding, but these officers were about to literally play a game with Sarah's innocence at stake. Stay in the car. Sorry, my window doesn't hold. Off the Brown Roswell Police Department. You know how fast you were just going, ma'am? I'm so sorry. I'm late for work. So you could go over 80 miles per hour on 92? No, ma'am. You have your driver's license and your insurance card? Yeah, my insurance. Turn off the car and pass me the keys, please. The ground's wet. It's been raining. You're going over 80 miles an I'm hour so sorry. on this type of a road. That's reckless driving, ma'am. Hey. She was going like almost 90 down 92. Oh, really? She flew past me. I had to get up to 90 to catch her. Wow. My CAD's not working. Is yours? Uh, Would you do? I checked. Can you see if, um, can you check the tag too? My, I'm going to have to restart this and see what the deal is. Yeah. I'm on three. Yeah, Alpha one. Alpha one. I'm back to 2005 Mercury Stable to a shot where about Lawrenceville, valid negative 10. I'm gonna restart my computer. Oh, it returns to Sarah Webb, Class C, valid negative 10. Copy, thank you. Sarah compiled without making a big deal. Officer Courtney returned back to her car and began to verify Sarah's license. At this moment, she and her other female coworker decide to do something very cruel. My cat's not working. Who's that? A head, R tail. Okay. <laughs> this is tail, right? Yeah, so really. 23. Michael Jordan? <laughs> Hi. So I got too, too fast for, let me write this down. Too fast for conditions. Reckless. Is it Reckers? reckless? For, yeah, you can do reckless. Um, and then. While deciding Sarah's fate, the officers used the terms A, or arrest, and R, or release, and did a coin flip that can be heard in the footage. And you're just going to have to mark the pace one instead of the... I mean, either way, the speed limit here is what, 45? Yeah. 45. She was going way... I mean... Because I haven't done one like speeding like that, yeah. so that's so why I'm a little bit unsure. Alright ma'am, do me a favor and step out of the vehicle for me. Yeah, Put the phone down. Why are you phone down? Step out of the vehicle. Turn off, put your hands on your breath. Because ma'am, you're driving entirely too fast for conditions. You put a lot of people's lives in jeopardy, okay? Christy places Sarah in handcuffs, all the while talking from a moral high ground. Our streets are not safe when officers like these two roam them. <laughs> you have a Ron. Turn to the side for me. Here, move over, okay? I'm just gonna shake this out, okay? Alright. Do me a favor, step over here. It's my patrol vehicle. <laughs> Have a seat for me. We're gonna buckle you in, okay? Sarah was visibly upset at her arrest, not even aware that it was decided by some sick coin toss. I feel bad that she had to go through such pain. I, I am, but without a stamp or... Oh. Who's that? I don't know, why are they flogging me? He's not noticing the cops' actions were childish at the very least, entirely detached from the circumstances they were in. Following the incident, the body cam footage was examined, and officers Courtney Brown and Christy Wilson were fired. Rusty Grant, the chief of the Roswell Police Department. This isn't a police procedure to bring a coin flip, whether it's an app or an actual coin toss. That's not part of that decision-making, to decide to take someone's freedom. If you thought the last female cops were dumb, these next brainless badge owners stood there while their fellow officers...
harassed a civilian. Trinity Clark, a sophomore, drove by Knoxville police officer Joseph Roberts on August 12th, 2021. A police pursuit occurred, even though Trinity was obviously nowhere close to the officer when she reportedly almost hit him with her car. The fact that the cop didn't turn on his lights until he pulled Trinity's car over was concerning enough, but what he was about to do next would leave a lot of you shocked. Come here. I pulled you over. Come here. Yeah, I did. Get over here. What's going on? Okay. What you want? I didn't do nothing. You tripping. Hey, bro, you tripping. Hey. The officer had messed Trinity up so bad that she had lost her shirt. Instead of helping the poor woman, Joseph continued wrestling her as she shielded her body. More and more officers flocked to the scene. It's like all of them came to see a show or something. None of them tried to help Trinity. Trinity was left and defenseless on the ground, begging for help as additional police arrived on the scene. Oh, y'all back in the house. Okay, yeah. okay. The dispatcher questioned the arrest while the cops attempted to take her to the police vehicle. You love to hate this guy. Lying came naturally to him. Following her transport to the jail, Trinity faced charges including assault on a first responder, driving with a suspended license, failing to see the right of way, and refusing arrest, stop, and search while brandishing a weapon. But Judge Tony Stansberry won everyone over during the case's preliminary hearing by proving that justice does, in fact, triumph. I'm going to be evading arrest. I'm going to dismiss that the fact. Um, the simple possession, the assault on the first responder, the driving on a suspended license. I don't, I just don't see the probable cause. I, this is, to me, this is disturbing. I'm going to dismiss everything. Everything is dismissed. Officer Roberts managed to evade consequences temporarily, but his misdeeds caught up with him five months later when he was suspended from his job for tampering with evidence and having a role in the death of a suspect. Justice always comes around. Those people put hands on me. I'm the victim. So you want you want to turn it around on me? I'm not turning it around. Please do so. The YouTuber Pepperoni Audits made the conscious and nonviolent decision to use his First Amendment rights on September 22nd, 2022, by filming in front of a house while in a public area. All hell breaks loose when the owners march outside. Whoa. 
What was that? I can't hear you. You don't have my signed authorization to have my face on that camera. Turn it off. Can I have your signed authorization? This guy's coming up aggressive, everyone. Can I help you? No, can we help can you help us? Yo, get away from me, buddy. No, no, dude. Who are the you? Get away from me, dude. Why are why are you here? Back the Why are you here? I suggest you leave me alone. Uh you're on private property. Uh I suggest you do something about that then and get back inside. Ooh. Really? Yeah, really. You like going around with people like this? You, know you think what? that's fun? Don't don't touch my buddy. Oh, go ahead. Oh, so do it. Do it. Uh, what, what? Touch it. That's on camera. What, what are Back we doing? the. F what are we doing here? Back the. F off, buddy. You touch. You get tased. Get the. F back inside. What, what's going on here? Get the. F back inside. Do not touch me. I didn't touch you. I didn't touch you. Don't. Don't. I didn't touch you. Don't. Don't. Why do you come up and grab me? I didn't you grab back off. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did, buddy. Get that thing out of my face. No, you can come up to me. Get in my face. I'll do something, buddy. Call, get inside. I'll call 911. Get inside. Call the sheriff's department. We observe the property owner aggressively storming down and confronting the auditor. He escalates the situation by shoving the auditor and his camera. This is, this is private property. You say you're filming. This is an easement. I'm not on your property, you see that? That belongs to the city. And why, why are you here? Anyway? So let me ask you a question. Does that give you the right to come up and grab my camera and almost hey, break it? Hey. You assaulted me, buddy. Call the sheriff's Hey, call your husband. Hey, call your husband. Hey, call your husband. Yeah, call your husband, fat boy. Oh man, whoa, oh, man. this guy's great. Get in, tubby. Yeah, he's freaking hopped off on freaking meth. Look at his teeth. Yeah, look at you, buddy. You come up and grab me for reason. What's your problem? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? I'm out in public recording, and you come up and grab somebody, dude. I'm with myself. And you're about to owe me a new camera lens. Hey, how about this? I go up to you and grab your phone right out of your hand and snatch it. What are you going to do if I do that? What are you, You're going to be on me, right? He grabbed my crap. Yeah, buddy, I got your name too. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get a nice little talking to with the, the police. Yeah, yeah, you got my name. We, we got something for you. Yeah, bring it, buddy. Bring whatever you got. You come back out here and touch me, you won't like. Oh, nothing. Just gonna sit out here. That's about it. Getting assaulted. Yeah, by one of their workers. What, what happened? I was just out here taking some pictures, and one of the guys came out here saying he didn't want to be filmed, and he ran up to me, started circling me, grabbed my camera, started pushing up on me. So that sounds like an to me. And it's all videotaped. You have it on video? Oh, it's all recorded. Luckily, he didn't break my camera. Otherwise, I probably can show you guys if you want to see it. Because I do want to press charges on him. Was there something involved in the tasing? Oh, I pulled it out in self-defense. Okay. When you come out at me like that and you're about to destroy my stuff and put, do bodily harm to me, you're damn right I'm going to pull a taser on someone. Yeah. You're damn right. You need to tell that guy he needs to not put hands on people. It's a short little fat guy. I'm aggressive. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna do a report on them too. That's fine. We can, yep. We can do that. Oh yeah, they're gonna have to learn. Just, I just need to give this deputy your information for me, all right? You're just, all right. Just calls him to get up. Is it free speech? Am I allowed to say stuff? Well, you have a freedom of speech, but there's also something called breach of peace. Okay, I like to see you try that, buddy. Those people put hands on me. I'm the victim. So you want you want to turn it around on me? I'm not turning it around. Please do so. What I'm telling you is, you guys are known to be the biggest pieces. Okay. In, in South Carolina. The cops eventually arrive on the scene, and after being informed on the situation, the auditor expects them to handle it. However, one of the officers doubles back and attempts to avoid our auditor. Whatever the hell I want. 
If I want to say him because he came up and grabbed me, and I want to call him a dummy for doing that, I have every right Guess to. What? If you yell across this parking lot, while you have all these people standing around, that is called breach of peace. You want to try that, buddy. I will lock you up. You want to try that. Yes, I will. You want to try that. All right. Try I'm it. Not doing that try right it. Here. Try it. Name and badge right. number. Corporal Driggers, one at eight. Name and badge number. Driggers, two thirty six. All right. Go do my charge. I need you to give him your. You need to go talk to them. I will do my job. All right. I'm one supervisor. Go do your job. All right. Get this deputy information. Go do your job. I already told him I would. All right. Go do your job. Go talk to them. I'm done with you. Yeah. Remember, I want that the charges filed. What's your first name? Joshua. And you better file charges if I'm giving you my information. What's your day, bro? If you don't, believe me, you guys will get complaints. The auditor pushes back a little, restating his rights and the extent to which he is authorized to exercise them. Despite this, the officer publicly threatens to prosecute the auditor if he continues to tempt the property owner. So what was the call about? Somebody coming up here harassing employees and pulling a taser on someone. Oh, cool. Did they mention that they came out? when I was just taking pictures of their property and they came up and grabbed me. Did they tell you that? Did they tell you they circled me and surrounded me? They mentioned that in the 911 call? Oh, they didn't mention the part before though, right? The part where they assaulted me, they forgot, they let that out. We got a call about a suspicious person being on the property. Oh, am I on the property? I'm assuming you were if you were over there. Oh, you're assuming I was. Were you over there? You said you were filming the car. You know what? I'm not going to answer any more questions. You walk around the vehicles filming the car, so that means you was on the property. I'm not going to answer any more questions. That's how stupid you are. That's how stupid you are. Yeah, keep on, buddy. Yeah. Fuck, we're on. This is called a career killer right here, this camera. Yeah. yeah. That's all you got to do in it. Yeah, it, it is and you gotta violate rights. The officer is questioned about the nature of the call, and after discovering the missing facts, he fills the cop in, only to be misinterpreted. The officer believes he was on the property, and so might be charged with trespassing. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? Uh, not too good. Wow, what's going on today, buddy? I had some dude inside. Oh, you're getting really close, man. Oh yeah, yeah, I like to get close. I like to talk to people. Can you stop? Yeah, sir, so I, I want to talk to you. What's dude, going on, stop, my friend? Stop so close to me, dude. What's going on, man? Dude, stop approaching me. Sir, I, I'm Back allowed to approach. Dude, okay. give me some space, dude. Go ahead and turn. Give me some space, dude. Behind your back. No, give me some. Ow! Oh, oh my! Behind your For back. For what? For what? For, uh, for you? Absolutely. Oh yeah. Very nice, dude. Very nice. Enjoy the lawsuit. Enjoy paying for my camera too. Absolutely. Enjoy paying for my camera. Now, you getting resisting arrest? Resisting, I'm not moving. Nope, when I went to put my hands on you, you pulled away from me. Yeah, because you have no right to arrest me. Sir, you're under arrest. You have the right to attorney you have him or a president. You kept approaching me. You Sir, you have the right to attorney have him or a president before he questions and asks you deciding any time to exercise these rights and not make any more statements. Do you understand these rights? I don't answer any more questions without a lawyer uh, present. Absolutely. All right, go ahead and stand them up. Once again, the cops don't disappoint. Another innocent auditor who was doing his own thing on the side of the road on public land has been removed. Do you think Pepperoni Audits was overreacting, or was he the one being wronged? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, consider showing your support by subscribing, and stay tuned for the next installment. Who knows? It might just be right up your alley. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.